Hi everyone, it's Amina here and welcome. Happy International Women's Day. Uh, this is my take two so of my Facebook Live. I did one on my business page and I realized that it didn't come out well. So if you watch that, I do apologize and I'm recording again. So today is a very special day for us women especially. And I want to share my message, especially with any woman out there that's thinking of setting up a business. So I've been doing my for profit business for the last one year. And I want to share with you the top seven things that I've learned that will help you not to get yourself into hot water. Why do I pick this day to share this message? I think most of us women have dealt with the same problems. So you're either a professional woman that's in a big company in the corporate world and then time to start a family starts and you then have to struggle between being, being a woman, being a mother, being a boss or even just working in a company. It can be quite difficult to be in that position. And in most cases, we just end up being stay at home moms. Yes, some of, it, some of us love it, but other people don't. And you don't have to choose because you can do both. So you can earn money while you run your own business at home and still look after your family. So my message today is for anyone out there that wants to, that's maybe in the middle thinking, should I or should I not? My message is to encourage you not to scare you, but to encourage you to look out for some of the red lights that you'll find, especially in your first year of setting up a business. So number one, people are willing to help. Take that help. So when people, when you're starting out, there are a lot of people out there that you can seek advice from and they are willing to help you. They'll be there for you. Just ask them because that's what's important. If you don't ask, you don't get. But while you ask, also remember to make your own informed decisions. There are those people that will treasure you and you, you will treasure them as well. Keep them close. They are diamonds and they will be there for you when you need to ask something. But when you ask, always remember you always have to make your final decision. You can't go blaming somebody else for the advice they gave you. Yeah. Number two, just start. We are always told just start, but that doesn't mean you won't fall into problems. It's not easy. It's fun, but there will be difficult times. It can be lonely at times, but when you start and you're committed and you're willing to learn and you're willing to move forward, you're willing to take some calculated risks that will help you a lot and just keep that in mind that once you've made that decision to to jump in jump in wholeheartedly and just move forward and when you face difficulties it will be easy to remember why you're doing it and those why moments are the moments that are going to help you they are the moments that are going to see you through those difficult days but it will be very rewarding as well because you get to meet a lot of new people that you don't know already yet. You, you get to help people move their lives forward. If you're in a business like mine where I help people to move forward in what they want to do, whatever service that you're selling, <clears throat> just make sure that you're going into business for something that you enjoy doing because you have to be able to get back to it. Yes, it, it is getting a bit sunny and and or in Peterborough, even if it's very cold outside. So my lighting will be a bit affected. Number three, decide from the onset. Is it for clients or is it customers? So to me, customers are those people that will come to you to buy a service because they want it. They'll be searching for that service because you know, they'll just buy and then off they go. You don't even need to do much with them. You don't even need to uh, tell them much. It's there. And that sometimes can happen with things like online courses. If you're going to run online co courses, people will just pay and uh, take your online course. 
Client-based business is where you build client relationships. Those are very important because you have to work, do a little bit more work at the beginning. Some of the people that will buy these services from you don't even know they, they need the services before you talk to them about them. I'm in a client-based uh, business. I love my clients and I respect my clients. But at the same time, I have to work a little bit harder to, to help them to understand some of the things that will work for them. Um, I do that because that's where my values lie. So we all have different values and my values are lying, inspiring other people and helping other people and serving other people. So I run a business that helps me to be, be able to do that, but also make money out of it. And you can do that too. So whichever side you choose, or maybe you can mix and match them, but whichever side is stronger for you, decide that from the beginning because that will help you to decide whether the client is right for you or not and vice versa. Because as we know, not everybody will love your service. Not everybody will buy from you. And some people will pay for your service and then you both realize that actually that's not what they wanted. And if you know where you stand, that will help you. In my client relationship business, I have to work hard at the beginning to build those relationships, but they do pay off because eventually if the client is happy with them, they'll refer, they refer somebody to you. And some of the business that I'm getting now comes purely by recommendation from people that have access services from me. Number four, watch out for the vouchers, vouchers. Yes, what do I mean by that? So in your first year of business, because you're new, you're also game for everybody else who's in business. The marketing people will st want to sell you their marketing services. The, uh, whatever people will want to sell you whatever program they have, which will help new businesses to move forward and this and that and that. And you will get all that coming into your inbox. Even when you try to sell your own services, you will not run away from people coming to try and sell their services to you. You need that because you need to choose the right services, but choose wisely and make sure that if you do choose, and sometimes you will, if you do choose wrongly and you make a mistake, it's okay. Don't beat yourself about it too much because the good will always outdo the bad. So go there, do your business and just be careful because everybody's trying to sell to you and you are new, you don't have a lot of money and that might be, that might affect you. Number five, contracts, read contracts. So whether it's a contract that you are signing for a service you're signing up for, make sure that you go through a contract. If you're providing a service, make sure that you have a contract to go with your service. I'm lucky enough to come from a background where contracts are everything. In my main job um, as a community services commissioner, if you don't sign the correct contract, that might mean loss of money and loss of your job. That might also mean uh, it affects people's lives. In the charity business where I was, the nonprofit business, whenever you got a grant, you have to sign a contract. So you have to know what you're signing up to. A number of times I've asked people and they've got a contract sitting there and I'm saying, why are you doing what you're doing? That's not in your contract. And they, they have not looked at the contract. They've signed it, but they haven't looked at it. Equally, if you sign a contract, it doesn't mean you're held to it for life and you have to be enslaved by it because things can change. The understanding can be different, but just know where you stand because that will help you. And another piece of advice on that one, have a solicitor on speed dial because this world can be difficult. In your first year of business especially, you don't know, you're trialing a trial and error and that something might just go wrong that might need you to have a solicitor look at your paperwork to see whether you're doing, making the right decision or not. That will cover you. Number six, some people will make fun of you. It's a given in the first year of business. 
suddenly those friends that saw you as a mate who was doing nothing and then suddenly you're serious about this thing that you're so passionate about and talking about they'll start laughing and then what do you do if you're not focused if you don't stay focused you will be derailed so stay focused no it's normal but just be very clear of what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing when you enjoy what you're doing you will love it and all those things will be like sweet noises on the side so go ahead enjoy what you're doing if people come if people make fun of you just tell them you're serious about your business and know where you stand number seven last but the most important love yourself first what do i mean by that it's International Women's Day. It's a day when, you know, us women celebrate being women and all that kind of thing. But on a day-to-day -day basis, us women, we are always putting everybody else first. We look after our family. We look after our clients. We look after the world even. But how much time do you take for yourself? How much time do you recharge and to know yourself? I've known a lot of people that have been married for a long time and they come out of that relationship and then they try to find themselves because they gave so much. And sometimes, you know, some of my clients, they feel quite angry about that because they find that they don't know themselves that well. But it's okay. Just remember going forward, especially if you're in your first year of business, take that time out. There's only 24 hours in a day. And there's only 365 days in a year. How much of that time are you giving to yourself to recharge? Whether it's meditating or exercise or doing whatever you want to do. Just take that time out. Because when you come back, everybody will love you. Because you'll be happy. You'll be all smiles. And it's all good, right? That's what we all want to do. So that was my message for you. Happy International Women's Day. And I'll speak to you again soon. Just remember, love yourself. That's the most important thing. And when you're new in business, enjoy the journey because sometimes you can be too hooked up in trying to please, trying to run your business, trying to get new clients. But there's a lot of people in the world and you will get your clients. Take that time for yourself. So... If you like this message, please leave me a comment. If there's any topic that you want me to talk about, I talk mostly about productivity and encouraging people to set up businesses, writing, all those things. If there's a topic that you want me to share, just inbox me and I will talk about it. And if I don't know the answers, I will research. I love my research. Also, if you love this message and you know somebody who will benefit from it, please share it. Like it, share it, and visit me if you want to learn more on my website. And I'll speak to you again soon. Thank you. Bye.